Hi, I'm Beck. I'm an associate professor at the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology, Monash University, and at the Ritchie Centre, Hudson Institute of Medical Research. This is the Monash Health Translation Precinct. What we've got happening here on our site is some fascinating work around regenerative medicine and stem cell biology. My own work is on regenerative medicine to address urgent unmet medical needs such as Crohn's disease related perianal fistulas, stroke and even chronic lung disease that affects the most premature of infants. Let's have a look. So this is our molecular biology area. So Yuan over here, she's one of our team members, and what she's doing at the moment is isolating some DNA from brains of animals that have experienced brain injury at birth. And what we're trying to do in our research is to try and understand how the brain gets injured when there's trouble during labor, but we also are developing regenerative medicines to treat some of those perinatal brain injuries. Um, let's go ahead and have a look at our protein bench where we've got some exciting work happening. So this is one of the devices where we've been working with GE Healthcare, one of our international biotech partners. And what we're looking to do over here is perform some drug development that allows us to transition our regenerative medicine from cell-based therapies to a cell-free approach that will then allow us to actually treat some of these urgent unmet needs with a more cost-effective solution. We'll head across now to the microtomy area. Nadia over here is working on a microtome. So what she's doing is cutting very thin sections of tissues so that we can then stain them and then analyze them clearly under a microscope. This way we can understand how the brain injury happens and also if the treatments are effective, how they're doing that, what types of cells they're actually helping. So we'll head across now to the tissue culture area. So this is our tissue culture lab and what I've got in front of the microscope at the moment is a flask of cells that I've been working on and what we're trying to do is find ways to get stem cells to produce these nano medicines that we can then turn into drugs for regenerative medicine. Let's head on over to have a look at one of the inventions I've had the great pleasure of working with. This is the Rotia one of the world's smallest benchtop cell processing devices. Over here, we have a bag of cells, and these cells are then washed, concentrated, and then made ready for infusion into patients, all within a single setup without us ever touching the cells. So we were able to work with the original prototype of the road here by collaborating with Melbourne-based biotech Synergy Private Limited. So let's head on down now to the cell manufacturing platform where we manufacture the cells for our clinical trials. So this is the anteroom for the cell therapies platform. Before we can bring anything in, we have to wipe it down and it goes through this pass-through patch and we open it on the other side and that's where we get the materials. Before we physically enter the facility, we have to put on a hairnet, gloves, full gown, and then we can enter. This is the isolator where the cell manufacturing happens. So we can see Sene over here operating the different devices that then power all of the, the processes that happen within this isolator. Anki over here, she's cleaning all of the materials before they enter the isolator. Everything needs to be wiped thoroughly with isopropyl alcohol before it actually gets buffered through into the isolator. Now this is one of the modules where the cell manufacturing happens. So all of the open processes that we have for stem cell isolation actually happens in these modules. And before any of the manufactured products can actually be used in patients, we have to test the endotoxin levels. So these are toxin levels released by bacteria. So what we're doing over here is actually testing those levels before we release them to go into patients. Products that are frozen, that is stored in liquid nitrogen, have to be thawed out to 37 degrees before they can go into a patient. And that's what this device does. A bag of frozen cells is placed in here, it's set to 37 degrees, and then thawed in a rate controlled manner.
Thanks for joining me today on this tour of the Monash Health Translation Precinct. I hope you had a good time.